Okay, Mr. Hallmother, thank you for joining us today. Um, what you're doing here is a special interview to all the viewers out there. So, last night, you immediately helped Lewis, Chris, and Sam to defeat one of these unknown t test subjects, which is called Squid SM Tyrant, that Chris talked about, right? Well, I appreciate the interview, Thomas Grant, but let's just say the battle itself is way longer since at the end of October, after the officers investigate the incident, some people describe the huge tall man who's behind of all of this. Uh, a huge tall man who's behind of all of this? Strange. Some people in the news, um, some people in, in the city just seriously keep questioning us who's responsible who launched these test subjects but i was wondering what did they look like the description for the big tall man is wearing a gas mask bright glowing orange glasses and straps a hat with goggles chromatic gloves and matte colored black suit i see so do you think this guy was the responsible for all of this? Who is freeing some of the two test subjects like the Squid Tyrants and reviving Francis the Chameleon back to the dead? Not sure. Many people thought Francis the Chameleon was dead, but some big tall man just resurrected him from the dead after Anim Island already extinct. And now... He got turned into Godzilla and got killed by Chris in the mansion. This is bullshit. Well, I know this is kind of bullshit. After Francis was res was resurrected from the dead, turned into Godzilla, while he did his best to trick everyone into going into the mansion that Mario was talked about, got killed by the Chris. Well, you don't have to worry about Francis the Chameleon anymore since he's already dead. So let's think. Let's talk things out a little bit. So, do you know anything about what happened um, about someone that you already know, which is, I mean, okay, never mind. But there's only one thing that's bothered me the most. Why do you always hate someone just? The National Weather Service in Los Angeles has issued a tornado warning for Los Angeles County, Eastside County, San Fernando Valley County, and Delope Valley County until 9.45 p.m. At 9 p.m. the National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado 5 miles northwest of Venice Beach. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east at 55 miles per hour. Locations in the warning include, Los Angeles, East Side, San Fernando Valley, Antelope Valley, Crescenta Valley, Mid Wilshire, South Bay, Gateway Cities, and Northeast Los Angeles. In addition to the tornado, this storm is capable of producing golf ball sized hail and destructive straight line winds. The safest places to be during a tornado is in a basement. Get under a workbench or a piece of sturdy furniture. If no basement is available, seek shelter in the lowest floor of a sturdy building in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body, and always stay away from windows. If in a mobile home or vehicle, evacuate them and seek substantial shelter. If no shelter is available, lie flat in the nearest ditch or other off spot and cover your head with your hands. A tornado watch remains in effect until 11 p.m. Friday evening in Northeast Los Angeles, and East California and Southwest Washington. Are we, are we back on? Alright. Um, sorry for this sudden emergency alert system happening in, in, in local station here, folks. Um, it appears to be we have a tornado warning involved in Los Angeles. Um, 
you gotta listen to what they're warning here, folks. This asks you guys to stay indoors and do not go outside. Seek shelter in a sturdy building or even a heavy, sturdiest room or even the furniture. Um, yeah, I think that's all we had time here, Mr. Hall Monitor. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. Uh, my name is Thomas Grant in uh, KABC7 News. Signing off. Service in Cretopolis and Fairfield has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Cretopolis County, New York City County, Fairfield County, Borden City County until 8:45 p.m. At 8 p.m., the National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm was located in northwest at Cretopolis, Pennsylvania, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Hazard: ping pong-sized hail and wind gusts of up to 65 miles per hour. Source, radar indicated. Impact, peoples and animals outdoors could be injured expect hail damage to roof, siding, windows, and vehicles expect damaged roof, siding, and trees. Other locations in the warning include, Fairfield, and a New York City metropolitan area prepare for hail, heavy rains and damaging winds. Those who are outside, should seek shelter inside and away from windows, repeating. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for the counties of Cretopolis, Fairfield, Borden City, and New York City.